you are in the gate csa and it section at open e school and in this series we are discussing the previous year questions and concepts related to the programming in c subject in this video we'll look at a question that was asked in the gate 2014 question paper the question is consider the following c program given below we have been given a c program and we have been asked to select which of these four options is true regarding this program now to understand which of the answer which of the options is true we need to understand what this program actually does so to understand this program let me just open it inside a c program editor so if you if we if we look at this program if we look at this function this is actually a recursive function so the first line in this function says that we are declaring a static integer variable i now you need to remember that static variables are just like normal variables or in other words i should say static local variables are just like normal variables the only difference is that when the function is called multiple times the static variables they remember their previous value so if, although they are local variables but still they don't die after the function completes its, its execution the value of the static variable is remembered always so the so this variable i is a static variable so you can imagine that when we will call this function multiple times the value the previous value of i will be remembered on those multiple uh, function calls then we have another variable k declared here then we have an if condition this condition says that if the value of i is same as the value of j only then we will go inside this if condition otherwise we'll simply uh, return zero and we will come out of this function now let's see what should be the output if we call this function by passing the value of j as 10 now the value of i is 50 j is 10 so if we pass j equal to 10 and we call this function this if condition will be false because 10 is not equal to 50 so we will not go inside the if condition we will simply return 0 so if i pass j equal to 10 the output should be 0 now if i pass j equal to 20 the output should still be 0 because we will not be going inside the if condition now if we pass j equal to 50 then what will happen now when we when we give the value of j as 50 we will have to enter inside this if condition because j will be equal to i now when we enter inside this condition the first line will simply print the string something on the screen the second line is actually a recursive call so after we print this string something on the screen the function f will again be called and we will be passing the value of i to this function so j was 50 i is also 50 so when we call this function again and we pass the value 50 so the value to j will again be 50 so we'll go inside this function we'll have to again go inside so we'll again go inside this function so we'll have to again go inside the condition then again the string something will be printed then again the f function will be called and value 50 will be passed so this function will be called again and the value 50 will be passed so what you will notice is that over and over again the function f is being called and we are passing the value 50 to it every time so we have to go inside the if condition and this function keeps repeating itself it will never end if we give the value of j to be equal to to be equal to 50 you need to remember that one of the most important conditions when writing a recursive function is that a recursive function should always have an exit clause so there should be a way to terminate that function so in this program that has been given to us there is no termination condition so we every time we just have to if we are giving the value of j as 50 as 50 every time after executing these lines every time we have to go inside the if condition then the function is called again value 50 is passed again we have to go inside the function the value is again <coughs> the value 50 is passed and the function keeps repeating itself now to be sure that 
what our understanding is this this program actually behaves that way so let's let's call this function by passing the value of f the passing the value of j as 10 so if i run this program so if i run this program it prints nothing and the program stops so if we make j equal to 20 <coughs> and we execute this program again there is nothing printed and the program stops now if we give the value of j equal to 50 then what happens then you will notice that this program goes into an infinite recursive loop and it will never terminate right so so if we go back to our question and we look at the options the first option says that the function returns 0 for all the values of j now this statement is wrong because we just noticed that if we pass j equal to 50 it goes into a recursive loop the function prints the string something for all values of j again this is wrong because if we give the value of j as 10 or 20 anything except 50 then it will simply return 0 the function returns 0 when j equal to 50 this is again false because when j is 50 we just noticed it goes inside a recursive loop the function will exhaust the runtime stack or run into infinite loop when j is equal to 50 so this is the right answer which we just noticed right so i would just like to mention one more thing this last statement says the function will exhaust the runtime stack you need to remember that when we call a function the return address is stored on a stack so when we keep calling the functions again and again again and again the return address is being you know stored on the stack on every single call so when we have an infinite recursive call that stack will you know become full because there will be no exit condition the function will not come back it will keep repeating itself so the right answer is d the function will exhaust the runtime stack and run into an infinite loop when the value of j is 50. So I hope you have understood the concept behind this question. In the next videos, we'll discuss more questions that were asked in the previous year gate question papers.